Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use um, Unsharp Mask, but also protecting protecting your stars and your background, because um, those are some of the biggest mistakes that people make. Are they will use either deconvolution or Unsharp Mask, and they're not properly protecting their background, and it ends up messing the picture up. <clears throat> okay, so first, what we're going to do is I have a picture here. Um, so I already ran it through uh, batch pre-process and I am now going to take the registration frames here or the registered frames and I'm going to run it through image integration. The reason I do this is I f feel like it's able to more specifically target the noise better in this so I end up just taking just throwing out the integrated image that batch pre-process makes and just use the registered and then uh, in integrate it myself uh, using this tool. Make sure I use Windsorized, Windsorized Sigma clipping, you know, as long as it's more than eight images. Um, and it ends up working out really nice. So we'll, we'll give this a second here to uh, run. So, okay. So now we here we have the uh, image done. I always just like to look at how much noise it took out, the darks. Always take as many darks as you can too. You know, on cloudy nights, just be taking darks because that will help so much with the noise that you have in your images. Okay, so now we have, so this is going to be a six panel mosaic that I'm doing here. So this is just one panel from that. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to stretch this ourselves. So I originally just used the control A function, which is, you know, to do the automatic stretch. Um, but that just that works for just looking at the data. You never want to do that to actually stretch your image. All right, so you want to do it yourself, just because that um, control A, you know, the auto stretch will end up stretching a lot of the noise too. So you end up just stretching beyond where the data is and into noise area, and you don't want to do that because that's just pointless. To why would you show noise after? You already have all the data showing it just doesn't make sense. All right, so looks that looks about good. Looks good for now. Uh, maybe just a little bit darker here, and you can see down here you can see how many pixels I'm I'm cutting uh, about 1,400 pixels, which isn't very much. It's never going to really be that noticeable. All right. Okay, that's good. Okay. So now we're going to create a clone of that image. And we're going to create a star mask. So I'm going to go up for my image, it's about 1 point or 0.14 to get a good star mask. For you, it's going to be different. All right, so we have this awesome star mask here. And then we have our cloned image. Now we're going to combine these two images uh, to make a mask, so that we can, so that when we use Unsharp Mask, we're only sharpening this nebula here and you know this faint area here, and none of the stars will be affected. The background won't be affected. So the way that we do this is we're going to take this original clone here, or this clone. I guess it's not original. Um, take the clone. We're going to go to Image invert the image and then we're going to go up to pixel math which I I really want to tell people to learn this tool because this tool is amazing this is a huge draw for PixInsight so if you're not using this tool you're not using PixInsight to the fullest extent okay so now we have the integration clone here double click that and then we'll just add that with the star mask. Press OK. And you'll just do that here um, in this RGB slash K area. And we're going to create a new image. And all this is going to be the same because you just want it to be the same as, as the target. So now we'll apply that. OK, so now we have our inverted image here. It still looks weird. You're like, you probably think, you know, how is this going to cover anything? But what we're going to do is we're going to go back to image, 
re-invert it. Now we have this awesome image that covers the stars. It's just showing the nebula. You still have this gray background, so we want to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stretch this mask. Make sure we go to uh, image 6. That's the one we created. All right, so, so we're just going to darken this background. Just clip it. It doesn't matter that you clip on the mask. So we just want that nebula showing. And you can even brighten the nebula a little bit. You know, but don't don't make it too bright. You don't want to have some weird artifacts if you make it too contrasty here. All right, so that should be good. All right, so now we are going to take this mask, apply it over to our original, and then we can just run unsharp mask. All right, so unsharp mask here. I'm going to go down to point or 1.5 that that worked good for me I'm gonna apply it here okay so it's done now we'll just leave this over here so we can see the difference <clears throat> okay so it's done here so that looks pretty sharp now let's go back let's undo this I don't know if you can tell the difference here but there's actually quite a big difference if you bump up the resolution on your on the video here you should be able to see it in fact, let me uh, pull up this clone, re-invert it, and then we can compare the two side by side. All right. Okay. So now let's make this larger as well. Oh. Drag this over here so we get the same view. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see here it's a lot sharper over here. It looks a lot better over here. You can see a lot more of this filament, you know, stuff going on in the nebula than you can here. This is a little dull. And you can see the backgrounds are identical. It didn't change the backgrounds at all. But, so now we have the mask on here. This is the what we use to make the mask. So there's no mask in the background here. We can apply this same unsharp mask and see what it does to the background if you're not protecting it. See how it does this? It amplifies the noise. It makes the stars just terrible. So that's something you want to avoid. You want to stick to just the nebula here. All right. Thanks for watching.